How's it going everybody? I'm Daniel, you're watching Daniel Tech, and it is time again to show you how to install Windows on your Mac. This is mid-2018 and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that for free, 100% legal, 100% easy. Just follow my tutorial step by step and you will have Windows on your Mac in no time working perfectly. Okay, let's go ahead and get started and I'm gonna show you and explain to you all the details throughout the video. Let's go. Okay, so before we install Windows on your Mac, we're gonna need to download two things from two different web pages. Okay, I'm gonna put the link in the description right here, but those download links, and I'm gonna download with you. Okay, so you don't have any questions or problems. Okay, so first of all, of course, we're gonna need to download Windows 10 itself. Okay, we're gonna need to download the operating system. And remember when I mentioned to you guys that it is 100% legal? Yeah, it's because we're downloading from Microsoft's own website, okay? I'm gonna zoom in from this part on so you guys can have a better look, all right? So let's first of all download Windows. So as I said, I'm gonna put the link in the description, so you just follow me. Uh, select the edition, that's Windows 10, confirm. Then we're gonna need to select the product language and we're gonna put English, of course, confirm. And then we're gonna choose between 32-bit and 64-bit. I recommend 64-bit, okay? So let's go ahead and download this version. All right, so it's gonna download Windows 10. Of course, depend depending on your internet connection, it's gonna take five hours, two hours, uh, 30 minutes. It depends on you, okay? I have already downloaded it, so I'm just gonna cancel that right here. Uh, second of all, we're gonna need to download VirtualBox, okay? VirtualBox is a virtual machine, which means it's a software we're gonna need to use uh, in order to run Windows on your Mac, okay? So that's th just these two things we're gonna need, the operating system and the software that will allow us to do that, okay? So we're just gonna need to go here and click on OSX Hosts. Remember, depending on when you're watching this video, maybe you're watching this video in 2019, 2020, okay? Uh, this version is gonna be different, but don't worry, just download the latest version, so download the version that's here, 5.2, 5.3, 5.4, I'm not sure, okay? So OSX hosts, and you hit download. Same story, it's gonna download here. This download is pretty short, it's only gonna take 30 seconds or something, okay? So just uh, I'm just gonna cancel as well because I also already have that here downloaded. One thing that is very important to mention, this process generally doesn't work, the whole process, okay? Generally doesn't work if you're running a beta version. So right now you're running, uh, the, the current beta version is Mac OS Mojave, okay? It's not gonna work with Mojave, all right? So I'm, I'm running right now High Sierra, so depending again, when you're watching this video, make sure you're not using a beta version, otherwise it probably won't work, okay? So we have, we have right now both things downloaded, okay? I have them right here. These are the downloads I failed. These are the actual things, all right? So I'm just gonna put both of them in the desktop, okay? On the desktop, which is much easier for us. And now let's install VirtualBox. We're gonna need to install the software first, then we're gonna need to, then we're gonna add Windows 10 to that software, okay? As you guys could also see, the process is 100% free. So I didn't need to pay anything to download micro, uh, Windows from Microsoft website and neither uh, to download VirtualBox, okay? It's 100% free and it is not illegal or anything like that. Uh, let's go ahead and install VirtualBox. So double click on this VirtualBox package. Let's continue, continue, install, put my password. It's gonna write files and install. Okay, installation was successful, so let's close that. Close this, and now we're gonna need to open VirtualBox. You can either go to Finder and look for applications, or you can just invoke your applications folder and click VirtualBox, okay? It's up to you. Okay, you open up VirtualBox, that's the first screen. Now we're gonna need to create our virtual machine. Okay, so let's click new. Name, I'm gonna put Windows 10 YouTube, all right? Um, type Microsoft Windows, version Windows 10 64-bit. Make sure it's Windows 10 and 64-bit, otherwise it won't work. So continue. Next, we're gonna need to go and select our RAM memory. 
So that part is pretty tricky, depending on how much RAM, how much RAM your computer has. If it has six, eight, 16, you can put more, okay, you can add more. I don't recommend really putting more than half your RAM on the virtual machine, otherwise your computer may get a little bit slow, okay, while you're using the virtual machine. So I recommend putting maximum half of your RAM, unless you really, really need your Windows virtual machine to be very fast, okay? So continue. Now we're gonna create a hard disk. We're gonna create a virtual hard disk now. That's the option, we don't need to change that. Create. This the file type is gonna be VDI. Continue. Uh, the storage on physical hard drive. If you want, you can pause and have a look. I'm not gonna explain the whole thing because it's gonna take a while. But like briefly, dynamically allocated means is gonna use your memory, your hard drive. Uh, as, as much as you need it, okay? So uh, you need 10 gigs now, 11 gigs, 12 gigs, and it's gonna use that hard drive. If you create a fixed size, it's just gonna use that whole partition of your hard, of your hard disk in one go. So I don't really like, um, recommend a fixed size. Let's go with dynamically allocated. Uh, next, we're gonna use, we're gonna see file location and size, okay? That's pretty much fine. You're gonna need, you're gonna put a limit of 50 gig, but we're not gonna use 50 gig right away. As I mentioned, it's gonna use uh, as much as you need, okay? So it's not gonna consume those 50 gigs. Don't worry about that. Create. And our virtual machine is ready. As you guys can see, Windows 10, YouTube, okay? Now to get it started, all we need to do is select it and click Start. Now we're gonna need to select Windows, okay? Because we don't have Windows. We just have the settings set up. So we're gonna click here on this little folder and we're gonna select from our desktop, because I put it on my desktop, Windows 10, 64 bits, we download it from Microsoft, okay? So open and start. So now the virtual machine is starting Windows, as you guys can see, Windows is booting up, and we're gonna need to set up Windows in order to use it. Okay, let's get started. Language to install. Okay, we can close that, okay, just so it doesn't pollute our screen. And let's centralize this, okay? So English, United States, time and currency, English, US keyboard, okay, next. Install now. So as you guys can see, it's like we're actually uh, setting up a Windows inside our Mac. Just like we're opening up a brand new Windows computer, okay, a PC, and we're just setting it up. This part is very tricky and that's the part a lot of people get confused and they get stuck because it says activate Windows and they ask what can I do because it's asking me to activate and I don't have the key. Don't worry, you don't need the product key. This is not illegal. This is part of the process and we have a link for that. I don't have a product key. Can you guys see that? So just click here. Okay. And then we're going to need to select the operating system you want to install. Okay. You can install pretty much any you want. You can install Windows 10 Pro, Windows 10 Education, Windows 10 Home, okay? I'm gonna install Windows 10 Pro because it's the Windows version that has the, the most features, okay? So Windows 10 Pro, next. Now we have to accept the terms, next. After this, we're gonna go for custom Right here, we don't have to touch anything. Where do you want to install Windows? It's already on this drive, okay, right here with a total size of 50 gig that we created, and all we have to do is hit next. Okay, so you don't have to, you don't have to click anything, you don't have to touch any of that part, just, just click next. Now we are actually installing Windows, okay, as you guys can see, it's copying Windows files, getting files ready, installing features, installing updates, and finishing up. This process can take a couple minutes, maybe more than a couple minutes, okay, so I'll just uh, cut this video and get back when everything is ready. Keep in mind that while we are in the process, you don't have to touch absolutely anything, okay, so don't click here to close, don't click here to close, don't mess with uh, VirtualBox, any of those applications, okay? So just let it work and let it do its thing, okay? Don't worry because I'll let you know when you need to click on things. Okay, so now that screen is done, we are now just restarting. Windows needs to restart to continue, okay? We just need to let it do its thing, okay? 
Again, I didn't press anything and neither do you. Okay, uh, now VirtualBox just restarted. As you guys saw, VirtualBox closed, opened again, and Windows is automatically restarting, all right? So uh, this is the final part of the installation process, okay? Windows is gonna um, restart a couple times, and then we're just gonna have a final screen in which we will set up a couple things, but it's very fast, okay? So again, just let it do its thing. We're gonna see a couple information here, okay, as you guys can see, getting ready, it's gonna load a few things, it's gonna load some percentages and all of that. Just let it, let it be. Okay, so as I mentioned, um, it's gonna boot up twice, okay, so this is the second time it boots up. Same story. Okay, hey now... I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. Yeah. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there... And as you guys can see, Cortana is talking a little bit, and... Uh, we don't need to use, use her if we don't want. Along the way. And if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. Yeah, I want you to stay quiet. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so this is the this is a new thing. Okay, while Windows is uh, doing its process, it asks Cortana to talk to you a little bit. Okay, just silent her because we don't need her. Okay, so let's select the region. I'm gonna put United States. Yes. Again, just a moment. We're just finishing up the installation process. Is this the right keyboard layout? Yeah, US, okay. Let's skip that, the second keyboard layout. We don't need that. We just need the American keyboard. Okay, the next screen is how would you like to set up? We're gonna put set up for personal use. Okay, just easier. Now, sign in with Microsoft. We're gonna put an offline account, just to make sure we don't waste time with that. If you want, you can just put your Microsoft information. Um, sign in with Microsoft instead, no. Again, if you want, you can sign in with Microsoft. Who's going to use this PC? What name do you want to use? I'm just gonna put my name, okay, so Daniel, and hit next. Create a super memorable password. As you guys can see, I'm gonna create a very complicated one. Confirm, again, super safe. Create security questions for this account. Okay, you know what it is, it's pretty basic. I'm just gonna do it and skip. Okay, so all three questions were added. Now that's the next screen, make Cortana a personal assistant. I'm not gonna use Cortana right now, okay? Okay, I'm gonna use it, <laughs> all right. And now privacy settings for your device. If you want, you can have a look at that. Okay, it's quite a lot of information right here. I'm just gonna accept the whole thing. Cortana is back saying we are almost done. We just need to get a, little, a few things finished up. Okay, here we are. Uh, this is our first screen. It opens up already with Microsoft Edge, okay, which is Microsoft Explorer, okay, it's just the browser. We can just uh, close that, close Microsoft Explorer or Edge, okay, and here we go. Okay guys, so there we have it. Windows 10 fully working on our Mac. As you guys can see, this is not a gimmick. It's not anything like that. It's just a full version of Windows 10 running and uh, it's not laggy, it's not bad at all. It just works very well. We have internet connection, as you guys can see, network is connected. Uh, we have sound, we heard Cortana talking. It's a full version of Windows 10 that we have just installed in pretty much 20 minutes in a free process, legal process and very, very easy step by step. Okay, so if you like this video, I would really be happy if you click the like button down here anywhere on your screen. Also, subscribe to my channel and I'll leave a link right here of a video that I'm sure you're going to love it. Okay, so that's it. i see you guys next week. Bye-bye.